In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Did you say the name? <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. I was playing ping pong. Ding ding. <laughs> it was a real high stakes tournament in an opium den. Yeah. Not the kind of guys you, you want to lose to. Mm. Not the kind of guys who like to lose. <laughs> Pink pong, Worked me over pretty good. Uh, I think it's time. Yeah? I think we're live. Oh, it's Thursday. Sitting in a half circle, sticks and hands, drinks on the table. Johnny boy, what are we about to do? We're going to fucking masturbate. Boys. You're damn right. It is time for a Freedom Friends Master Debate. For us, the four DGens that you know and love as the Freedom Friends, we uh, discuss world problems and issues. Or we you cre- didn't even know existed. We, well, yeah, we often create them. <laughs> <laughs> but then we solve them. Yeah. One topic uh, at a time. Maybe. Uh, well, if this problem existed, <laughs> this is how I'd fix it. Yeah. If you were a pirate. <laughs> if you were. <laughs> or a ninja. Or a ninja. Or, you know, whatever. You know what we should do for a, a TikTok we should cl- we should clip talk. we should clip out every single time I said we're about to masturbate, boys, and then just do like a two minute oh, video of cut? just that, just a super <laughs> cut. I know a guy that can make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get three minute permission? Because I, mean, I think I've only yeah, said it. John John I actually went TikTok viral, but I think I've said yeah, that like a hundred and four times at least this so far. Well, I mean, how many masturbates have we? Well, had? it's been like two years. Yeah. So yeah. 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 That's a lot. Super a debate. Lot. Just we're about to masturbate. We're about to masturbate. We're about to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking masturbate, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta put a B to it. Right? Like, <laughs> oh no. Oh <laughs> like create a TikTok. That's one of those this. TikTok producers gets a hold of it and turns it into a fucking <laughs> trap song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> masturbate my masturbate. Masturbate my masturbate. <laughs> Holy fuck. Do we got a debate topic? Drop the bait. Masturbate. Songs to bait to. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do, do we have a fucking have a topic? <laughs> <laughs> debate just, topic? So you're talking about. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Justin, Justin, do we have a debate topic this week? All right, boys. All right, boys. All right, boys. Yes. Oh, oh, it's been a minute. Oh. And all is right in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, so this one actually uh, isn't really made up. It's a it's a pretty wide discussed topic, but uh, mm. I wanted to know what y'all's thoughts are on across the board legalizing all drugs. Charlie Sheen, uh, <laughs> Tiger Blood. I'll start off. I'll start off. It's probably the smartest thing the U.S. could do. Yeah, because then. People who bought drugs could buy non-tainted drugs, and so you're saying regulated. They could be regulated. Yep. They could be taxed. Um, the problem is, it'll never happen because because somebody's son or daughter died from drugs. They're gonna freak out when they say to legalize them. Uh, if you're a political person and you say we should do this. You're going to get crucified. Uh, so it'll never happen, but it should. On my drive last week, I was listening to CNN and they had this doctor on there talking about um, opioid overdoses yeah. and what they can do in this foundation she works with and all this kind of stuff. And she goes, I have firsthand knowledge because both of my sons overdosed. They were accidental overdoses. Right. But I brought them back three times. And like uh, it, it. I fought with myself on how I should feel about this because half of me was like, well, I'm glad there's Narcan. I'm glad there's things that, you know, whatever. And Wait, did you say like brought that. them back three times? Yes. But then the other half of me was like, bitch, your kids have massive fucking problems yeah. and you ignored them. <laughs> so yeah. they had an accidental overdose three times? Yeah, three times she brought them back. But the, the, the last time you know she, what? she didn't. Like Mikey has a gun collection. Yep. If Mikey shot himself three times accidentally, I'm going to go take Mikey's guns away. Right. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, my cold sorry, dead it, hands. It, it just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if like my three separate times he was like self-inflicted hands. He's, he's, he's accidentally shot himself again. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, uh, I don't, I don't know. The first you know, two times, I'll give you a pass. It, 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 I, I know, I know four people that have accidentally shot themselves. None of them have done it twice. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that's very We've true. had guests on this show that have lost yes. lost pieces yeah. due to accidental <laughs> accidentally shoot themselves, and they've only done it the once. Uh, so, so back, anyway, sorry. Back to the drug thing. <laughs> so, I, was, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and they kind of had a similar topic. And he put it like Joe Rogan does very well, right? He said, you know. We don't need drugs. We just need DMT. Well, he, he said we drink whiskey, right? We pour a fucking shot of whiskey. We know what the whiskey's gonna do. It's say like I can regulate how much whiskey I drink. Yeah, which right? is where Bottled and Bond actually came from. Right, it's fucking you know. And he was talking about the three comedians that died because they did cocaine that had fucking fentanyl in it and killed them. Wow. Yep. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, no, I'm with you. I, I think if it's if it's if you're gonna have a controlled substance. And let's face it, that's what it is, right? Alcohol, tobacco, but, drugs, whatever. They're all controlled substances. Yeah. It's it, just the level of control changes. Well, it's the uncontrolled substances. So, well, it's still a controlled substance. The problem is, is that it's controlled to the point of you have zero access. So then the people that want access are going through routes where you have absolutely no standard. Yeah, but, but just you're, relying, you're relying on a guy. <laughs> so you're relying on a guy to make you drugs in his bathtub. Right. Like, well, but this comes down you know to I mean? this. It also it comes down to the abortion debate. I was about to say the same shit. This is they the same the concept. They're going to well, fucking no, like people you, who need abortions. They're going to find them. Right. Yeah. Like making abortions illegal or punishable by life in prison and all that kind of stuff. It isn't going to do anything other than bring back fucking kitchen table coat hanger abortions. Yeah. Like you're not going to get rid of abortion abortions. clinics in Mexico are about to have a whole lot of money. You're just right. going to make unsafe abortions. And it's what we saw with the whole when they started reclassifying drugs, which happened, I think, in the 60s. Right. When we got the whole schedule, the schedule, so you one had schedule through four. one yeah. through four and yeah, all that kind of stuff shortly before the global war on drugs. It, right. Thanks, Nancy. So we had the schedule that came out and that turned like weed into fucking yeah. schedule one, a schedule one narcotic and shit yeah. like that, which right? is hilarious. So, to me. yeah. So it, look, are there some drugs out there that are fucking awful? Yeah. Like crystal meth is fucking terrible. Yeah, like, it's should, a terrible fucking there's drug. There's certain drugs you shouldn't try just for you know the sake of trying. But I think, but, do you know what the difference but is? But I do think what ends like, up happening is that if you take the stuff that could be regulated and it's like, look, am I going to encourage you to do it? No. But if you're going to do it, at least let's get stuff where it's not going to fucking kill you. Make all of that available. Or at least, all of or the or whole at least fucking, you know the amount it'll take to kill you. Well, so right. Like, but then the drugstore made up shit like crystal meth yeah. and all that kind of stuff. I think all just goes away because the fact Probably. of the matter is, is that a junkie is going to be a junkie. They're either an illegal junkie or they're a legal junkie. Like we made alcohol illegal in this country. Right. Yeah. We went dry and it wasn't for like a year. Like it was a chunk of time. Yeah. And all it did was prohibition did nothing but birth organized crime in NASCAR. It's in NASCAR. <laughs> That's what we got. Thanks a lot. Yeah. We got NASCAR. Hell yeah, brother. We got NASCAR and the mob. That's yeah. all prohibition did. Yeah. So nothing good came yeah. of this like at all. So <laughs> so the fucking government they like to they like to take a drug and they just change it on a chemical level by like one fucking aspiration and call it something else and regulate it. For instance, crystal meth, cr meth heads are gross when they do it illegally, but you have college kids doing fucking Adderall all over the fucking world. Well, you're talking about and, amphetamines. And Adderall is literally yeah, one chemical issue away from fucking being crystal meth. It also, it depends, the same it also depends on what you are. So like if you're ADHD Chill and you take out. Adderall, Chill you out. you'll mellow. Yeah. If you're like, us yeah, with can, naturally I, firing I, brains I to take Adderall, numbers. then you can like stay up for two days. I will like, tell you this much. I took a half an Adderall during a final one time. Laser focus. Bro. Yeah. There is something to that yeah. shit. <laughs> well, I wrote like an eight page in mind, paper in like an hour. I was this, like, is a, this is a country that up through the 30s literally used to prescribe cocaine for focus. Cocaine like, used to be the main one of the main ingredients in Coca-Cola. 
Well, that's where it gets its name. Yeah. That's so, how they keep their customers. Hey, man, it worked. Right? <laughs> hey, Who Germany, won that Pepsi war? Yeah. <laughs> Germany almost took over the world on cocaine. Well, so I, I think if, if everything gets legalized, it'll be a self-correcting problem. Yeah, it'll 100%. take years. It will literally take probably three to five years minimum. Yeah. But it'll be a self-correcting problem. That's nothing. The years, people, that's nothing. But yeah. the people that want to abuse it are the people that are already doing it. Yep. There's no stopping. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna create a law to stop somebody from killing another human being. Oh, wait, they're already on the books and it doesn't fucking work. Right. The people that are going to do it are just going to fucking do it anyways. You know? No, so, 100%. Like, like so, I'm telling you right now, if you made fucking whatever, if you made Molly legal tomorrow. Which it used to be. MDMA was originally legal. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But if you made it legal tomorrow, I'm not going to go use it. Yeah. Do you know who's going to use it? People who are already the using people it. that are already oh, fucking it. using oh, just it. Kidding. Like, okay. <laughs> but that's going to be the deal. It's not going to be like, oh, now you can go down to Planet K and buy MDMA. Oh, shit. Guess I'm going to Planet K. No, I, the people that already use are going to be the ones using it. All you're going to get is tax revenue and an ability to actually regulate it. Yeah. Now, are you going to see an uptick in some deaths? Yeah. Yeah. Because it became more available. But, but did it really? Are we really losing anybody you give a fuck about? So here's that's, now that's the moral question. Here's where yeah. I, here's where here's where my my libertarian fucking mindset comes into play. What that we lost a junkie? Nobody gives a fuck about losing a junkie. Oh, I, don't, I, I agree. Yeah, because I, I believe in Darwinism. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like but take the fucking labels off. Nobody and likes let's, junkies. Let's see how it is. I literally saw a, I one a, of those central fire. Yeah. Pit things at a restaurant that had a sign on the front that said "Caution: Fire may be hot. May be hot." First off, if you have cold fire. I want to see this shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, you're like, but just for science, I want to see right. how the fuck this works. Secondly, if you have to be told that fire's fucking hot, let them touch it. Yeah. Like, just we like, don't need those people. If yeah. you're older than three, you should know better. And yeah. even if you're three, you're a quick learner. Yeah, yeah you're a quick yeah. learner. Real fucking yeah. quick. Yeah. I grabbed a fucking curling iron when I was three years old. Guess what I haven't done since? Never. <laughs> Although you I'm know, married like, to a woman that just still hasn't figured out the shit that's on the stove is fucking hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the like, look. Oh, that's great. Still hasn't figured this shit out. It is we need another like, camera just on Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> like, so like, but like, I'm a firm believer that <laughs> liberty shouldn't be fucking stifled, right? If you want to go out and do fucking drugs... I don't give a fuck what you do. It's not affecting me. As long as it's not affecting me, my family, my property, I don't fucking care. Yeah. It's when it does, that's when I give a shit about. Like, I have a serious issue. Narcan is a great example. I have a serious issue with our tax dollars paying to keep junkies alive. There's a documentary on Netflix. Yeah. I had to watch it in school. And I remember when she you signed Netflix us. Netflix in school? Yeah. Wow. I just graduated college a couple of years ago, man. <laughs> so when I was, she, she assigned us to you watch kids this. kids these days. Right. <laughs> she assigned <laughs> us to watch this, uh, this documentary. And as she's giving the assignment out, she looks at me and she goes, I'm real curious to hear your opinion on this. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Right. And sure as fuck, it was about this, this sheriff's officer out in New Jersey. Who is fucking given? <laughs> okay, first off, nobody gives a fuck about Jersey. Well, of course, but <laughs> like, like uh, uh, 100% agree. Let's just but start she, there. She is given an enormous amount of fucking Narcans out to like fucking ju these junkies. Some of these guys have gotten 30 and 40 fucking Narcans. Wow. And it's like, and wow. she's like, we'll just keep giving them to them. I have a fucking serious issue with that. Two reasons. One, my tax dollars shouldn't be fucking taking care of junkies. Darwin should be fucking right 100% of the time. And secondly, we shouldn't be saving anybody in Jersey. Well, that's that's <laughs> kind of their, that's kind of junkies, Jersey, kind of the same thing. Yeah. All right. So, and then two, GTO, I hate man. the idea. GTO. I hate the idea that there's a monopoly on fucking EpiPens yes. and my children can't get a fucking EpiPen some years because, you know, this fucking one company makes them and they're not fucking making enough. Whereas Narcan is readily available to every fucking junkie on the planet. What's bullshit is actually seeing yeah. markup on EpiPens. Yes. Oh, it's fucking horseshit. Because it tastes you. like $2 Tricare. Yeah. to produce EpiPens. And it's like a $500 fucking junk. Oh, joint. no, they're like 800 yeah. and something. I get them for free, so. Yeah, they're like 800 and something. Thanks, military retirement. I literally saw a TikTok <laughs> the other day that said that uh, epinephrine is required for lambs. Like when new lambs are born, they require epinephrine. They handle something with their whatever. So if you go to like a livestock vet and say, I own lambs and they're about to whelp these lambs or whatever, 
they will give you epinephrine dosage. It costs you like 80 bucks for five dosages, and it's the same cartridge that fits in an EpiPen. Really? So you can just reload your EpiPen. No to Mikey's about to have a farm. <laughs> <laughs> for, because epinephrine, and it's the same dosage no. that's I in an EpiPen this. is what's needed for a lamb. I question this because I don't think that the lambs in other countries, Afghanistan, get the, uh, they still live. Like I, yeah, the, right. epi- the epinephrine that's given to the lambs in the United States block out the natural um, thought processes of them getting fucked by Afghani and Iraqi oh, men. Oh, so it's more of a mental stabilization. Yeah. Thing. Got it. And yeah. over there, yeah. they're just getting raped all the time yeah. by dudes. So Yeah. yeah. It, I can't remember what it was, but it was it would, it would was something about uh, – it has to do with our livestock protocols here too mm-hmm. on like making food-worthy animals uh, and USDA blah, 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 blah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it was something with that that it, it stifles some natural histamine that's huh. in them or whatever. But it's the same dosage amount. And it's like, so you can get five doses for 80 bucks or you can spend $800 for one EpiPen for yeah. a human. But but wow. you can go or but if you're a junkie, you get all the fucking Narcan you want. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's fucking bullshit to me. Well, really? I've been no, in great. countries, you, I've like been in countries where you can buy EpiPens over the counter. What yeah, happens? I get, I get a question. What happens if you don't do drugs and you do Narcan? I don't know. Well, it's essentially, so the, just a dumb essentially the only thing that Narcan does is it is it counteracts all the effects of um, an withdrawal. opioid. So, it would, so it, it it if you weren't on opioids, it would just make you. It it causes the same inhibitor profile, like the. So what opioid does is it, it bonds with your receptors, your receptors, okay. and it Narcan that does bond. the same thing and essentially stops the withdrawal symptom that can kill you. Oh. So that's what Narcan does. So could you just be a junkie on Narcan? Yeah. yeah. So so essentially what it does be no. cheaper. is it is it auto cleans you and then people just go shoot up again. Hmm. Yeah, like, oh fuck, that was wild. Yeah. I'm gonna go do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. No, I'm a firm believer of- But on the debate side, I'm with him. Hey, fucking legalize the shit. Yeah. Let the let the pool clean itself out and then tax the fuck out of it. I'm a yeah. firm believer. Who the fuck am I to tell somebody else what they can or can't do with their lives? And who, well, the, who the fuck is the government to tell the citizens of that country what they can and can't do within reason? It's the same reason I'm pro-choice, dude. Lives. It's the same reason I'm a pro-choice guy. It's the same reason I'm fucking pro-fucking uh, legalization of, of drugs. Yeah, like, it's the same reason that I'm anti-fucking forcing a vaccine. I, can't, I can't say that I you mean, know, like, uh, Mikey. I'm not any of those. I'm a pro liberty guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm. I'm not. I'm. I can't say that I'm pro choice. I can't say that. I'm pro. But I'm. I'm pro. I'm pro. It's none of my fucking business. Don't take my liberties away. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take I, other people's liberties away. I'm pro. You're an adult, and you can make your own choices. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you if you can't make your own choices, then you're gonna make the bad ones and have to suffer with your own consequences. Yes. Yeah. And. That's the part that I think this country is getting away from is people don't believe that they have to face the consequences that are based on the actions that they do or the choices and decisions that they make. I'm going to make this decision to do X, knowing that Y is going to be my consequence, but I don't feel like I should have to have that consequence. No, we've gotten to the point in this country where it's not... I... I don't believe in my consequences. It's I don't agree with your decisions. So you should have to suffer consequences. Right. Yeah. But I like my decisions and my decisions shouldn't have to have consequences. Yeah. And that's where we've gotten. And we've gotten to the point of people don't get to just decide who they are and what they want to do. It's if it differs from my way of life, then you have to be wrong. So you need all the consequences yeah. But I don't need any of mine. So Everybody decided too, that to get polarized. We've gotten super selective yeah. over what's cool and what's not. And it's like, how about generally speaking, everybody's decisions are fucked up and they have to deal with their fucking decisions. Yeah. But if it doesn't have anything to fucking do with you, yeah, mind well, your fucking business. Just yeah. shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> like Karen, like when go you back said to your fucking yeah. HOA I'm and pro, leave everybody alone. I'm pro <laughs> choice or whatever. I'm pro choice with an asterisk. And the reason I say that is that I'm pro-choice, but I think that we have to take that choice to the next level. Like the whole like a woman's body is her choice. You should be able to do what she wants with it. Mm-hmm. That's fine. 
I agree. In the cases of like rape, pedophilia, uh, incest, those situations, a woman's body is her right. She should be able to do what she wants with it. But in the cases of like relationships, yeah, things like that. And now two people went into this decision. This is an action. And now the woman being able to make a decision solo without right. consulting the other consenting adult that's no longer pro choice because you've taken you've taken, you've his taken choice somebody's away. choice away. I agree. So I am pro choice, but I am pro choice with situational awareness of what's going on and I think that that's only fair. No, don't get me wrong. I don't think <laughs> that fucking the chick who's incapable of keeping her fucking legs closed goes back for a fucking fifth abortion should be allowed to do that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that people standing outside of a fucking clinic with a bunch of pictures of dead babies that's in front of a fucking up. 18 year old girl who's making the hardest decision of her life. But to be fucking, honest with you, yeah. that chick that's like, decided that's that okay she's going to fucking throw shit around like she's the ice cream man. If those dudes don't want it either, fucking go make your call. Like it's your body. Do your yeah, thing. I get it. Now, the stories that you hear about the married couple that conceives and he's all about being a dad and she's not. So she goes and she fucking pulls the trigger and he got no call in it. That's a problem. That's fucked. Like, you shouldn't yeah. be allowed to do that. Like, but, that's not the way this works. So. But and I'm, the, I'm that way with the drug situation, too. So I if have, you want to go and tank your fucking life. Then you know what? You deal with the fucking consequences, of your actions. Now, you break into my house to steal my shit to pay for your drug addiction. And I fucking plug you. Well, you know what? The, I'm not the one that decided yeah. I needed to fucking snort my life away. That's not my fucking the, problem. The, the, the thing that I don't get when it comes down to the <laughs> drugs is. And I, and I personally, I've heard it is, well, I didn't know what it was going to do to me. Bullshit. We've all seen the fucking, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs, man. It's, They've been pushing it for us And forever. that's the thing is that we love that excuse. And if and it to, was 1922 it makes and sense. somebody goes like, but it's in, just a little bit of China white, man. It's just going to pick you up. And you, you, you weren't aware of how in instantly day and addictive age, that shit is. But information is too available in now. Today's day you age, don't get it, to play ignorant. It's, yeah. it's, it's not even about the information, the actual facts. It's just about the stigma that is around it. You know what I mean? Like, you can mention crystal meth to anybody. Yeah. Anybody. And they're going to be like, yeah, I, I do crystal meth. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Whether they've the whether they know what it is or not, yeah. Yeah. they could have absolutely zero exposure to any type, anything that relates to it in any physical way, shape, or form. And you say, Yeah, I do crystal meth, they go back to oh bro, what the fuck? You do crystal meth? You know what I mean? Yeah, like not a good choice. You like, can't yeah. say, Oh, I didn't know what it was gonna do to me. Like, and then I, I got addicted. Sorry, I just Your kept Honor. fucking doing it. I didn't know it was gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that that that's not that's not how it works. I think that's the like, But then there's some stuff like the cocaine. Do you remember the zombie like, dude? Look who, like, at how much money was around in the eighties. Oh, oh my god. And fucking everybody was on cocaine. Look at fucking Pablo and Escobar. We got so much shit done in this country, and fucking everybody <laughs> was on powder. Like there's certain situations where it's like fucking you know maybe not so many iced coffees and maybe just a bump at 10 and 2 like you're fucking <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll solve the obesity <laughs> issue in America right? I'm just saying yeah. like we didn't have near as many fat people in the 80s no like, literally they, they, they banned drugs they fucking allowed sugar just to run vamp it, right. which it should be the opposite. Drugs should be legal Rampants. and sugar should be fucking a fucking scheduled drug rampant buddy rampant what did I say Vamp it. I don't know what vamp it is. That's not even a word. Sorry, I got excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you bumped? Are you are you <laughs> Scott drug text me like, once a week just to see what I'm doing and not sharing? Like yeah. I've I've never done I've never done cocaine. I've, really? I've never done it. It's a hell of a drug. I've never touched it. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm, I'm sure according to the old, the original super freak, yeah. <laughs> you know, I uh, like I've never done it. I sold the fuck out of it back in the day. Yeah. You know, it, it paid, ah, it paid I, mom's bills I, for a I, while. I, I have a lot of respect you know, for you, sir, for not getting high on your own supply. Easy, easy advice, dog. Do you, know, <laughs> do you know that adrenaline level where literally you could thread a needle from 100 meters with dental floss? You can yeah. do anything. Do you know You're that? You're 10 foot tall and bulletproof. I know you've had that adrenaline level. Yeah, when I'm where, shot at. Right. But <laughs> where literally where everything becomes. Lasers. It, right. Yeah. What, what do they call it? The f flow? Yeah. 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 Flow state. That's if you're if it's if you're not like if you're not ripping fucking like train rails like if you're like controlling like line or like bump level it's that all the time no yeah. 
Beyond that, yeah, you can start like fucking smelling numbers. It, like <laughs> it's <laughs> chew your own face off. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> but, it's like that dude who fucking like I was I was I was gonna mention the, but the guy who did the, does the same thing. The guy who did like, the fucking bath salts that ate the dude's face. That's the one yeah. time that I that I could understand if somebody was like, I didn't know it was gonna do that. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a question on how, but the first time. How, how do you take bath salts? You snort them. You, is that what it is? You're snorting? I don't fucking know. No, no it's smoke. Which that one? Drugs? Smoke, smoke, smoke it. Yeah. Okay. So I want to know the first Dare. guy who decided I'm going to smoke bath salts. Now well, it's, it's like, not. Now bath salts is not like what you're thinking. Like your wife has that little jar next to your tub at home. Then why do they call that's it what bath I salts? It was. It's not that. <laughs> what is, is it? It it's a it it's again it's a drugstore makeup like like crystal meth. So it's a well, bunch I am, of it's mind a, blowing. I'm right. 39 years old and I'm learning today. Yeah, <laughs> yes. bath salts aren't the shit that you put in the tub to make it smell good. That's no, what I thought it was. That's not that's not what bath salts are. So what bath salts fuck? bath salts are essentially it's a it's a homemade amphetamine. But you that's know what? Smoked. This proves my point. Like if I see I my I if I was, do you know my why? Steak with bath salts, do you know salts, why? It's because I'm you, gonna, you, I'm you would have never gone. I think I want to try bath salts. I could go buy it at CVS and then get fucking royally fucked. And I'm like, you know what? That's not a good idea. I'm personally not going to make a choice to do that, even though I have no idea what the fuck it is or where it comes from or what it actually is. Right. <laughs> I'm still not going to fucking do it because I, I don't know, maybe have a little, just a tiny right. bit of life. Scott's going to go with some of that peppermint doctor fucking yeah, shoulder. Yeah, yeah, right. hey, I got a question. Like, what about a bath bomb? Bath bath sauce. <laughs> what if, about, if, so I can just go down to Lush at the mall and just get fucking wrecked? <laughs> like, like, fucking rip it I have a the question. <laughs> if bath salts aren't actually bath salts, who the fuck is a bath salt dealer? <laughs> <laughs> and see, Mary Kay. And, and, if ever, <laughs> like, and, Avon. and if you ever find yourself <laughs> in the position for asking around for a bath salt dealer, <laughs> hey man, I want some bath salts. What motherfucker? You, like, yeah. I don't know. It's all weird. First so, off, it's not Florida, so you're not going to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, and secondly, when you're in Florida for the RCPT, <laughs> I'm going to need you to bring back some bath salts. <laughs> and not the fucking for shit science. you buy at Walmart, apparently. I don't know. Yeah. Lush or. Lush or nothing. <laughs> Dude, I honestly fucking had no idea until you just yeah, blew it. I didn't mind. either. <laughs> like, because bath salts are literally Epsom salt with like fucking soap in it. Yeah, yeah like I have like, Epsom salt in my house and there's no way I'm smoking or snorting it. Fuck no. <laughs> Which isn't going to do anything it. other than you're just like, I think I dehydrated my lungs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think this, is, this hurts a lot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's not. that's not what bath salts are. Okay. All right. Bath salts are the equivalent to like to the same concept of crystal meth. I'd go Google, but I remember the last time I Googled something, Jazz told me. <laughs> yeah. My fucking wish.com ads. Oh, God. A slap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if any of you out there in podcast land could tell me what a slap is, I'm fucking still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think it's funny. Jazz made up a term and like we've racked our brains on it for over a year. <laughs> I, I can tell you right now, I did not make it up. That is not one of mine. Somebody made it up. It's, it's not even on Urban Dictionary. Well, it's not real. Made it up. It's not real. Flow Cone Den Edge is mine. All that's all that's words 100% are made up. mine. <laughs> that's a made up word. All words are made up. It's fucking... Fuck, he's got me there. I think, what, I think what we've landed on is fucking legalize it all and let it be chlorine in the fucking gene pool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I mean, in yeah. Oregon did it. Oregon, you can go fucking, we can go to Oregon right now and get shrooms and shit like in the street. I don't it's, actually have a problem with that. I'm like, fine with whatever. it. Like, you like, do it in Amsterdam too. You yeah. know what I never saw in Amsterdam? A junkie? A junkie. It's you know what else died. I never saw in Amsterdam? Somebody that fucking OD'd on the streets. Really? Yeah. Not once. So I spent a good amount of time in just Amsterdam. Legalize, I spent three and a half years in Europe. Legalize all the shit that's naturally available. Yeah. Like cocaine comes from the coca plant. Shrooms and shit just grow. Like if it if nature spit it out, fuck knock yourself yeah, out. I want some I want some legal DMT. I want to try that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking peyote and shit. Dude, I've still not tried DMT. Huh? No. I mean, let me know. Yeah, I want to try it. I'm pretty sure that Joe Rogan is single handedly the largest DMT dealer that's ever existed. He's definitely the biggest pusher. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> probably that's hasn't like, profited on it. But. That's like I will die on <laughs> yeah. the hill that Obama was the number one gun seller. Yeah, yeah. ever that it ever existed. Yeah. Obama sold more guns than anybody else because I think, I think he, Biden be, gave because, more away because he, <laughs> because he was in office when Hillary ran. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Obama it, sold Hillary. I saw Obama I owned sold a gun store more the time. guns when Hillary was running. We saw a lot yeah. of gun yeah. sales. Obama sold more guns than anybody ever. And who was his secretary of state? Yeah, yeah. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker sold more guns. Yeah, and Biden gave more away. 
Yeah. Like, not even to the right people. Yeah, right? Fucking- yeah I, I think he takes a cake on that. Like oh, I know. Something billion. It's like, yeah, value I wise. think about all the times I had to police call the desert because somebody lost their MVGs. And yes. I'm like, fuck you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Somebody it's funny is they have all that gear and what they're realizing right about well, now is shit, this all takes specialty fucking parts and tools to oh, work yeah. on any of this shit. Yeah. You know, like, the thing that fucking, the thing that irks me about all that is I guarantee you 100% of the vehicles that are over there have some sort of a tracker that's in them, whether it's a Blue Four tracker or yeah. something. And, uh, it would we be might really have pulled smart. the BFTs out before we left. No, 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 no. Yeah, it would have been really smart to, uh, to keep those trackers in there. And then start striking. And give it about a week. Yeah. And then turn on the fucking screen and be like, <laughs> here's our targets, boys. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know? Like yeah. It, but it, we're, we're talking about a military that is currently ran by a dude that can't figure out, well, anything. <laughs> I saw I, I saw I saw a picture of a military color guard holding a gay pride flag. They fucking they like, ran a gay pride flag over the the embassy in Afghanistan. Why would a military color guard carry a non departmental right? flag? That's what I don't understand. I don't care that it was a gay pride flag. It I, shouldn't I would be, be a flag that's carried. I would, that would be, be like carrying I would the be concerned, come and take it flag. I would be you concerned don't see with that, any though. flag like, within that color guard that was not. The U.S. flag and then the branch of service yeah, flags, yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's all that should be there, or, yeah. or yeah. a unit flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What? Yeah, it could have been come and take it. It could have been. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What it could have been is. don't tread on yeah. me. It could have like don't give a fuck. It's yeah. It's the branch flags and the U.S. flag. That's it. That's all that should that's be it. there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck boys. I think we're gonna bring this one to a close. Legalize them. Legalize yeah. it. Yeah, fucking do it. Give yeah. everybody. Money. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Bath salts for everyone. Bath salts for everybody. <laughs> Darwin was right. Fuck it. Lush.com. You can be delivered. It. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's a pyramid scheme. Like Orange Theory Fitness. <laughs> 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 you see, we need a uh, camera on her again. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe, smash all those buttons. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell your fucking mom's friend, Scott. Warfighter has a new code. We Warfighter do. does have a new code. That's right. And it is. FTFO. FTFO, FTFO as in freedom the fuck on. So yes, use that code FTFO over at Warfighter Tobacco dot com. Show yourself that fucking sweet, goddamn fucking sweet, sweet fifteen percent off. <laughs> and also, um, get a little rest. Hit up OWellness dot us for your CBD <laughs> needs. Use that code Freedom Friends twenty five. Show yourself a quarter off your order over there. God damn it, boys! I'm gonna raise my glass. Say thank you for being my freedom friends. Oh, mine's fucking. Can I just say it's fucking? It's good to see you, boys. It Here, is. It's, 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 it's fucking, fucking good to see you. Throw me a little shot. Uh, there we go. Sharon's Karen. Sharon's Karen. Cheers, boys. Karen, Karen's Sharon. Yep. She is Karen Sharon Basalt. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next time, uh, fucking three little things. Uh, Incy weensy things. Yeah, John. Smoke on. Mikey. Drink on. God damn it, boys. Freedom Freedom the the fuck fuck on. on. See you next time.